gentlemen, welcome back to the Leaders Dialogue. On studio we have Mr. John Nganga and we are talking about a leader's work ethic. Mr. John Nganga, the issue of contentment. Uh, as a leader, how should we cultivate contentment in order for us to have ethics in a workplace? One of the things that I have mentioned in my book, The Leader's Work Ethics, mm -hmm is that working and working well, seeing the impact that makes mm -hmm. on people, yeah. even whether money comes or not, yeah. makes you sleep every night mm -hmm. like a log. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's vernacular, translated into English, mm -hmm. sleeping like a log. Mm -hmm. Just fall and until morning mm -hmm. you have, because you are leading a life where you are satisfied mm -hmm. with what you are doing because mm -hmm. of the impact it's making yes. on others. Mm -hmm. But I've also written another book called The Secret of Contentment. Mm -hmm. And I argue in that book that one of the deliverables of a Christian yes. worldview mm. is living a life where you accept where you are mm. despite being ambitious for the next level. Yes. Contentment is the ability of being grateful mm -hmm. for what you have now mm -hmm. without it making you lazy mm -hmm. not to fight to be at a better place tomorrow. Yes. That means you accept your performance at this time, mm -hmm. but know it can be improved. Mm -hmm. So how do you get contentment? Yeah. Four things. Number one, contentment comes when you feel what you are doing mm -hmm. is honoring to God. If it is a mile of God, sometimes it doesn't matter what people are saying. Mm -hmm. You feel so happy yes. that God is happy with you, mm -hmm. happy with you. Yes. If you live a life honoring to God, mm. one byproduct yes. is you live a contented life. Okay. Number two, how do you get contentment? When you seek to operate mm -hmm. on the basis of the call of God. Mm -hmm. People who operate within their calling, mm -hmm. people who operate within their calling, yes. live a very satisfied life. Yes. You may be doing a job that gives you a lot of money, mm. but you're not satisfied. Yes. And it's, but you're earning so much, you can't leave it. Mm. Many people end up destroying their health yes. because they are making money, but in an area that makes them not sleep at night, mm. that makes them frustrated. Mm -hmm. If you want contentment, mm -hmm. don't just do a job because it gives you more money. Mm -hmm. Do a job because that is within your calling. Mm -hmm. You know why? Mm -hmm. When you operate within your calling, yeah. chances are you'll be gifted in that area. Mm. So when you operate from your gifting, mm -hmm. you tend to do well. Mm -hmm. And again, because you are doing well, mm -hmm. you tend to be better remunerated yes. because of it. So it can bring, so that's why you can see, if you want to live a life of, mm -hmm. of contentment, yeah. it is critical that you ask yourself, am I operating mm -hmm. within God's calling yes. of my life? Because mm -hmm. you mean yeah. you, are, you are, but, but that, that thing as to why it, it is important to operate within your calling, yes is that when you operate within something you are gifted in, yes. you tend to enjoy doing it. Mm -hmm. And so it's not a drag. No. You can be doing a very difficult mm -hmm. thing, mm -hmm. but you feel happy to do it. Yes. And not too long ago, I was speaking with somebody who works in Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. I said, what? Mm -hmm. With all the bullets? Mm -hmm. Say somehow I feel God called me to mm -hmm. Afghanistan, yes. and I know none of the bullets will kill me mm -hmm. if the Lord chooses to protect me. Yes. But I'm ready to die, mm. or ready to live. Mm. But despite all you hear, mm. I feel contented. Mm. So it's important. Yeah. But thirdly and importantly, yeah. you live a contented life mm. when you learn to live within your means. Mm. To me, the most difficult thing yeah. is when you are always trying to operate mm -hmm. outside your income. Yeah. You are working hard. Mm -hmm. There's a level of income you are getting, mm. but you can't. So if somebody buys a Mercedes. Mm -hmm. Don't buy a Mercedes with him. No, no. Check your income mm -hmm. and buy a car mm -hmm. that is within your income. What will happen? Yeah. You always operate with the money. You will never be wake up one day and you have no money for the milk of the child. No, no, no. Because you, are, you have learned how to operate within a budget. Mm -hmm. When God gives you more money, mm -hmm. it's not difficult to just go to a higher level. Yes. But until he does yes. operate yeah. within your income, yes. people who operate within their income always feel rich. Mm. They feel they have enough yes. within that level. Mm. The kind of house they will live, yeah. 
is within the ability to pay the rent. Yes. The kind of car they will drive mm. is within the ability to pay back the loan. Yes. The kind of dressing they will have mm. within the ability to pay the, mm. for the dress. Mm. Now the, and yet what that does is to free them yes. to enjoy their life. Mm. If you don't operate within your, within your means, mm. you always be struggling. Yeah. You are end up in debt. Mm. Because you are fearing, you see Nanga, mm. and you assume he's coming for his debt. Mm. Although he's just coming to greet you. Mm. So you live a life. When you, and what is worse, yeah. chances are yeah. many people who are corrupt, mm. many people who steal, yes. started by operating outside their, their means. Yes. Mm. And then they feel forced mm. to take a debt they cannot pay. Mm. Then they feel forced mm. to have to con, mm. or they feel forced mm. to take money which they hope to return. Mm. And when they are caught, mm. they are in corruption. Mm. But finally, mm. if you want to live a life of contentment, mm -hmm you must be dependent mm. on God. Because mm. God will never run out of resources. Mm -hmm. He always has enough. Yes. Even what he gives you mm -hmm. is from him. Yes, so when you learn mm. that God is a supplier, mm. Philippians 4.19, mm. and my God mm. shall supply, mm. not some, mm. but all your needs mm -hmm. according to his riches in glory. Mm. Not some needs. Mm -hmm. Hey, Raduku, all your needs. Yes. It just means that even when there are some certain things you don't have, mm. you start understanding, ah, mm -hmm. he, when God wants me to have them, mm. I'll have them. Mm. I think it's Psalm 4, which is talking about uh, mm. he, that uh, God will supply, yeah. uh, again in the Old Testament, yes. you going that, uh, nothing, uh, that nothing that he is not going to withhold mm -hmm. anything that I need. Yes. It means that when he knows I need something, mm. he will certainly supply it. Mm. So I feel satisfied, whatever level mm. of income I have, whatever. I live a contented life mm. because I know God is in charge. Yeah. Talking about contentment, even at national level, the other day Zambia's most important utilities we are taking up by a falling country. And looking at where our country is, uh, do you think nationally we are contented with what we have or do, do we live beyond our means? As a nation, we are made up of individuals. Mm -hmm. If individuals live, with the, we live above their means, mm -hmm. what that will mean is that when they become CSs, mm -hmm. cabinet ministers, yeah. or they become principal secretaries, PSs, yeah. they're operating at the same level. Mm -hmm. they, tend to, they tend to want to operate yes. on the basis of money they might get mm -hmm not the money they have. Yes. So as a country, yeah. that's a big temptation because we have it at a lower level, mm. we are suddenly going to get it at a higher level. Mm. However, mm. nothing I have said so far yeah. should make us think that it's wrong to take yeah. a loan. Yes. The Bible does not condemn taking of loans. Mm -hmm. It condemns not paying back the loan. Mm -hmm. If I ask you to give me a thousand shillings, I'll give you next week. Yes. Until next week comes, mm. we are friends. Yeah, good. <laughs> <laughs> but if next week, Thursday, yeah. I have not paid you, mm. on Friday I'll be running away from you. Yeah. What happened? Mm -hmm. As soon as I have not paid the loan, mm. we are now in debt. Mm -hmm. And once you are indebted, mm. you are operating outside God's will. Mm -hmm. He says, oh, no man, anything mm -hmm. except the continuing gift of love. Yes. It means that to all people mm. or have outstanding loans, mm -hmm. that's a better way of putting of it, yes. is a sin. Yes. Whether you do it as an individual mm. or do it as a country. Mm. That's why we must calculate it mm -hmm. as individuals yes. before we take a loan. Mm. Then nothing on taking a loan, mm. but don't take a loan beyond your ability to pay. Mm -hmm. Whether you are a country mm -hmm. or you are a county yeah. or you are an individual, mm -hmm. you must not take more. So anytime mm -hmm. we reach a level where we mm -hmm are not able mm. or willing mm. to pay back yes. what you owe, mm. the Chinese yes. or the Americans, yes. or we, and we keep taking more, mm. we are actually making ourselves slaves. Oh. Actually, the Bible already says yeah. the, 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 the giver mm. makes the receiver mm -hmm. a prisoner. Yes. Or the recipient is a slave mm. to the one who gave, who gave him money. Mm. And it's important to understand that. Mm. However, when you take a loan, yeah. the people who give loan yeah. have extra money. Yes. And they want to make money yeah. by loaning you. Mm. There's nothing wrong. So they're not doing you a favor. No, no, no. A loan is not a favor. It's a, 
It's a business. Yes. There's nothing wrong with it. Mm-hmm. It is you at the respect of the loan mm-hmm. who, do, who do say no yes. when you know you have no ability to pay. Yes. That's my comment about the issue. Uh, uh, viewers, we are going on a commercial break, but forward your comments, your views, and your feedback on our Twitter page at Leaders Dialogue Show or on our Facebook page at Leaders Dialogue. We'll be right back after this. Thank you. Vegan. Vegan.